All right, guys, OFD checking in here. Happy Saturday to you guys. Hope you guys are all having a really good weekend. So I haven't done a strap review for a while, guys, and it was really nice. A young gentleman out of the UK named Andre reached out to me recently. Uh, I think it was through Facebook or Instagram and said, hey, I'm starting a new strap company, and I was just wondering if you'd help me out and do a video. I always like to help out new up-and-comers and stuff like that and young people and stuff. This guy's only 23 years old. Uh, he's from Romania. He traveled to the to UK in, uh, in uh, I think, 2016, and he's been in England since then. And he's done all kinds of odd jobs, but he loves watches, and he loves manufacturing straps. And so he's really started doing these straps, and he has a dream of basically creating all straps with all the materials uh, from England, from the UK, and all meeting ISO standards for NATO straps and stuff like that, and really kind of recreating the NATO strap, the G10-style NATO strap strap in the UK and that's a goal. He's got a goal and I really respect that. So anyways guys, I went to my mail today and I opened it up and I had the package in here and this is our Mia uh, strap company. This is the name of the strap company that he started and so check out the packaging here guys as you guys can see the Union Jack there on the side of the box and there is the contact and follow us information so definitely check that out. Go follow them at their Instagram feed. Check them out on Facebook. And here is the link to the website, which I will leave down below in the uh, in the description, guys. So let's go ahead and open the box and check these out. Uh, real quick before that, give you guys a wristwatch check on this Saturday uh, afternoon. I am wearing the Nautis Trieste today. So cool watch. So go ahead and open the box. This is the way I'm assuming these straps are going to come packaged for you guys. Now, okay, so there is the straps inside there. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Inspire to Aspire. Endurance under extreme conditions. Premium hardware. Soft and silk-like nylon for improved comfort. Laser cutting technology for the sizing holes and ends. Flying keeper for a perfect adjustment. I always like the flying keeper or the floating keeper, however you want to say that. And ballistic weave for extreme durability. Armia. So, okay, let's go ahead and get these out. Now, guys, I'm going to just say, I'm just going to let you know, I have actually looked in here. Oh, that's cool. Aero Ballistic. That's the, oh, that's the name of these straps. That's right. I went to the website and that's the actual name he's using for this style of straps here. So we'll move the box out of the way here. So I actually have looked at these straps, but I didn't take them out of the packaging. And just looking at them through the plastic, they are pretty impressive looking. You can see signed buckles on there. And I think you can see, I think I saw it down here. Yeah, there's the company name, which is very nice. So let me take these out of the plastic and we'll check them out up close and personal. All right, so I know when I went to the website, they actually had names for all of these different color configurations. And forgive me, Andre, because I didn't memorize the actual name for the color configurations. But these are the four colors currently available at the website. And I do believe you'd have to check, but I think they've got 20 millimeter, millimeter excuse me, available and 22 millimeter available. You know, your two most standard sizes people are going to go to uh, for a watch strap most of the time as a, as a NATO strap and stuff like that. Beautiful, you know, weave on this, that very silky smooth. A lot of people call this like a seatbelt style weave and stuff like that, but that same feel. Uh, very nice engraving here on the hardware, and it's not just, you know, a, a simple laser etching. It's done deeply and very nicely, and as you guys can see also up here on the buckle, they have the logo with kind of that, I think, is that a griffin? I don't know. I, I think it's something like that, but very cool uh, straps all together. I, what I want to show you guys is these on some uh, some watches here. You got this one. This is the gunmetal gray with the brown along the edges and stuff. Check out the stitching on the back here. Let me set one down. Let's actually set these two down and just look at this one. Very nice thick stitching. As you guys can see, it looks double stitched right over the top of each other. So that's nice. And then you do have uh, the flying keeper, the floating keeper here, which is really nice. And I'll show you guys when we put one of these on the wrist. It makes it nice because when you fold back that um, that extra layer of NATO strap you have, it's very nice because you can move this around and tuck it in nicely. Showing you that nice polished hardware on here. Done very well and it appears to be pinned. Very nice. Stitching down here for this keeper with the signature on it. I like this color. Looking at the laser cut holes man those are precise those are super super precisely cut and the edges are super super nicely done too Let me show you guys the sealed edges on this 
Looks very nice. Excellent, excellent work on these, Andre. Get another color up here. Let me get one of the 20 millimeters up here to show you guys. This is the green with the uh, kind of gray or, you know, smoke kind of color on the side there. Very nice looking strap. Get it up close so you guys can see the texture of that. Pretty pliable too. Um, some of the thicker ones can be kind of stiff. This is pretty darn pliable. Nice and comfortable. So it looks good. Also the nice polished hardware and the buckle signing there. So let's go ahead and throw these on some watches there in the background. You guys can see I got some watches. So let's throw them on the watches and see how these look. All right, so I grabbed an assortment of watches out of the collection, stuck them on there. Really great looking straps. I think it's really cool just the way with the floating keeper and stuff like that. The material is excellent. I put the uh, the little Seiko SKX-013 on here because of the blue, the blue Seiko Saturday. Look at how nice it matches this strap. Looks very nice on there. Definitely dresses the watch up quite a bit. Gotta love an SKX, right guys? And it looks good on this strap. The polished hardware matches the polishing on the case and stuff, very nice. I took the green and kind of smoke colored one and I stuck it on my Timex Explorer. It's actually a Waterbury, but I thought it was kind of neat. It kind of offsets that Tropic dial on the watch and stuff, adds a little flavor to it. Looks really good also with the polished case and with this strap. Now these, right now he's got these uh, these straps. He's got them at the website, you can pre-order. I think he's doing them on what they call Indiegogo and I'm not super familiar with what that is, guys, uh, but I'll leave links down below. Oh my gosh, look at how good this one looks on here. I stuck it on here and actually didn't, uh, didn't notice how nice that color works on here. Something about the way this up against the silver case with that kind of green, Tropic-y, tropical -y dial on the solar chronograph. Wow, stunner. That, that's working really good right there, guys. Check that out. I'll definitely get this on the wrist before we go out to show you the strap on the wrist. And here we go, guys, the all-time classic, the MDV-106 from Casio on the uh, kind of gunmetal gray with this khaki along the side. Man, what better way to dress up a Casio than with a killer strap like this? Uh, these Armia straps are very nicely done. I'm going to leave a link down below where you can get these straps. I know that the sale price at the website or for Indiegogo is through, I think, maybe the end of October. Then they go up to regular price. I think right now you can get them for £19. I'm not exactly sure what that translates to U.S., guys. Probably like 23 bucks or something like that. So go to the website, check them out. Let me get one of these on the wrist for you guys here. Yank off the notice here and uh, put it on. Now, I love the, I really love the floating keeper because, I mean, that, I'll show you here why I like it so much and uh, definitely works nice because you can, when you, when you tuck it back, sometimes when you don't have that floating keeper, you just don't get it in there uh, all the way and it's, you, you just don't have it in the right spot. So it's nice you can move the keeper around and make sure you tuck that band or that extra strap in really nice. So, all right, there's what that looks like on my wrist. And uh, it's hard to show that floating keeper there, of course, because I don't have four hands. But anyways, yeah, trust me on that. You guys can see it tucks back very nicely. I'll show it kind of from this angle. You can see how nicely it tucks, and I can move that. You know, if you had less strap hanging over, you can move that up to capture that strap. But, you know, I can take it and move it down so I can hold that, that strap down back there nice and snug. How good does that strap look? I like the the sign keeper there. So, all right, Andre, there it is. You've done a great job here. Guys, follow the link down below and check out Armia. Uh, watch NATO straps. Great stuff. Great young guy. He's doing a lot of good stuff, so definitely check him out. Follow him over there on Instagram, Facebook. All right, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. All right, thanks, guys.